Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Lee Vogel. I am a professional makeup artist, if you did not know already. Recently I decided to join YouTube and kind of venture through the world of clean beauty and hope to build a community. Today I am going to feature the Beauty Counter Classic Eyeshadow Palette, which is filled with all these beautiful, rich browns and golds and rusts and coppers and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's my most favorite palette, especially for this time of year. I placed this eyeshadow look and hopefully you guys will be able to watch the step-by-step -step tutorial that I have in just a few moments and apply it to your own eyes. As you can <laughs> see, I already have my full face on. I am wearing the Cure Weiss foundation in like porcelain and excuse me <laughs> i'm pregnant so i have indigestion and then i have the hint beauty uh duet perfecting concealer in light the dco2 light and i am wearing the rms beauty uh unpowder powder to set and i have it's not like the cleanest but it is talk free paraben gluten all those kind of things free cover effects it's the bronzer duo matte shimmer and this is such a pretty palette this is actually a little too dark to use as a highlight but i mixed it with the beauty counter um, halo highlight and it's just a beautiful combo so you will be able to see that and then i have the beauty counter blush in date on my cheeks and I also did a little bit of contour with the Sunkiss Bronze, the matte side, so right in there. And then on my lips, I have the Bite Beauty Liquefied Lip and Whip. And the cool thing about Bite Beauty, if you didn't know, they are going all vegan. So right now, like their lip pencils, this guy, some of their lip stains, or lipsticks rather, are on sale. So I went to Sephora the other day and I got a few because I personally am not vegan so I don't mind that there's beeswax and some of the products that I use but for those of you who are vegan Bite Beauty starting I think on January January I might be wrong I don't quote me go to their website I'll link them below but they are um, going to be completely vegan until then if you aren't vegan go to Sephora because I mean their sales amazing it's like twelve dollars for this thing i mean that is just like unbeatable so today i'm going to zoom you in so you guys can see what i'm doing and we're going to do my eyes i'm just going to do a very soft fall kind of look featuring the beauty counter classic eyeshadow palette and these colors i mean they're just to die for in my opinion but i'm going to do kind of probably a rusty goldy Kind of eye and so if you are interested continue watching so we are up close and personal today hopefully you will be able to see everything that i'm doing and using i am going to start by saying <laughs> i'm going to start by saying that i already kind of primed my eyes i used the hint beauty concealer and then set it with the rms beauty unpowder powder so I already kind of have a base going and I am going to start with the suede color right here and just put it into my crease and then we'll go from there and I am using kind of a flat fluffy brush so it will lay down more pigment than a typical fluffy brush however it's not going to be as pigmented as a finely compacted bristled brush if that makes any sense so you can kind of see how that's going next I am going to take this sienna color it's like kind of a burnt orange color and I'm gonna place that also in my crease but I'm also going to um, focus it more on the outer corner and bring it down into the outer corner of my eye and I am using a fluffy brush right here and this is a Bedellum Tools it's 776 I believe 
again, some of my brushes, I've had them for so long that I don't even have the option to read what brand they are or which number they are. And I'm gonna carry it up a little bit higher towards on my brow bone on the outer corner, but keep it into my crease. And I'm doing more circular motions on the outer crease and outer corner of my eye, whereas I'm, and then I'm doing more of like a window wiper motion in the actual crease. And I'm being very soft. So you actually have more control when you hold a brush towards the end rather than doing this. When you hold it here, you tend to put more pressure down but if you hold it down here, you can put more pressure, How? but you can also lighten up your hand a little bit if needed. So it's very important that whenever you um, use your brushes, make sure you're holding them, right? Because it might not even be the brush or the product that you're using. Sometimes it's all in the hand and that's why you're not getting the same effect that you would see someone else on YouTube or some other professional doing. So normally I go more with a copper look, but I think today I might use a Sahara color and I'm gonna put that on my lower lid. Also, I find that I'm talking into this mirror. I'm very confused right now because I have this mirror that I'm looking into. I have this mirror in front of me and then I have the camera. I am going to actually use that same initial brush that I use with suede on it, but I'm going to use Sahara, that goldy color. And I'm gonna place it on my lower lid. And I'm not gonna bring it out to the outer lower lid just because we have that sienna on there already. I just kind of want to blend it in together. So that is the eye look so far. I'm going to use my fluffy brush again and I'm going to take this dark warm, well it's the darker of the colors, a uh, warm brown color. It's called Sable and I'm going to place that really into the crease of my eye. I'm gonna start by squishing the bristles so it kind of gives more of a, a line and I'm gonna kind of, there we go. And now I'm gonna hold it normally. I really just wanted to place that product right where I wanted it to be. And I am carrying it into the inner corner, but I'm trying to keep it as close to the crease as possible. and down into my lower corner. So it's gonna kind of add some more depth to that sienna color without completely covering it. So that's that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that sienna color, but I'm just going to, I lightly touched it. I'm actually gonna touch my hand so I get some of that excess off and I'm just gonna kind of sweep it up just into my brow bone. And same with, again, on the other eye. I'm gonna take a, a flatter brush and use that Sahara color again on my lower lid and just pack that color so that way it kind of gives a little bit more of a oomph. That Sienna color looks a little patchy, so I'm just gonna take my window wiper movements with my fluffy brush and just kind of run that back and forth and see I can blend that out a little bit more. I think that looks a lot better. And then I'm gonna take a bullet brush, and this is a Morphe M431. 
So I'm gonna dip that in that sable color, the dark, the dark warm brown that I put in my crease and outer corner, and I'm gonna kind of lay it down on my lash line. So it kind of gives the illusion of eyeliner, but it's staying soft. I'm just going to carry it into the center of my eye. So it's really just the outer to like right about here. Whatever is left on my brush, I am going to kind of uh, run it on the outer corner of my eye along my lower lash line. And same with on the other side. And then I'm going to take Sienna, the burnt orange color, and I just Put it on the same bullet br brush and I'm going to kind of go on the outer corner and then into the center and into the corner of my eye. I'm kind of connecting what I have done on top to the bottom. Then I'm going to take that Sahara color that's on my lower lid, so this color right here, Sahara, and I'm going to so tap that in and then I'm going to also tap it into Ivory, which is this really pretty ivory color. <laughs> and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye, on the top and along the bottom as well. And just kind of gives it an extra pop. I mean, taking this flat, fluffy brush again with a little bit of ivory. For this look, I just kind of want a hint of highlight at the brow bone, but not too strong of one. Taking my fluffy brush to kind of blend it in with that sienna. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I am going to curl my lashes, put on some Well People, the Expressionist Mascara. I do use brown in this mascara. I just love the way brown mascara looks on eyes. I'm not a big fan of this mascara, but I'm going to use it today. So okay. this is the finished result, and I have my mascara on, which... I figured out why I don't like this mascara, y'all. It's because it's too wet. I think once it kind of dries out a little bit, maybe I just don't use it enough, but I think I'm gonna start trying to use it more often. So that way if it gets drier, I might like it a little bit better. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is the eye look. Again, it's just like a really pretty soft wash of color uh, with golds and rusts and just kind of gives it that really nice fall feel. So if you liked this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any other suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future. Or if you just want to say hello, that would be nice. I'll, I'd love to say hello back. And subscribe to my channel if you would like to follow me along this journey through Clean Beauty and be a part of a really awesome community that I'm hoping to kind of build. Thank you again for viewing my video and I will catch you in the next one.